The new Scriptlet feature in version 16 of Enterprise Architect provides a great method to automate the customization of diagram appearance. You can just sit and forget using the new Scriptlets as they run whenever the diagram is loaded, or you can run them manually on demand. You can use these to make your diagrams respond to model changes and offer more than a single static view. Let's start with a quick look at the model wizards that provide some clear examples of how these scriptlets can be used. We will run over a simple scriptlet with colour updates as well as looking at the scriptlet editing. Then we'll run over an example of populating a table using scriptlets as well as an example of using scriptlets for validating your diagram. And finally we'll have a look at an example of scriptlets in a profile and creating an MDG with an element stereotype that uses scriptlets. First of all, there is a perspective for scriptlets, which, when selected, sets the theme for us to work on. This brings up the model wizard, from which we will load all of the examples. Let's start with the simple scriptlet. This has three short scriptlets that just change the color of elements when they are run. When we set these all to one color, save our diagram in this state, then we can use the context menu to run each individually. You see, with each being run, that it changes the element colour. Now let's reset these to a light colour. Save it, and then on reloading the diagram, we see the same effect with each scriptlet automatically executed in series. So what is behind this? The scriptlet is quickly editable from the context menu. It is a simple JavaScript structure. In this case, it is referencing elements in a grid using the grid cell reference, column A, row 2. This uses the getObjectByGrid function for referencing the object that we want to make changes to. In short, it simply sets the colouring of the element in that cell. Now let's have a look at an example that performs a quick summary into a table. It gives a count of the type of connected elements for each element on the diagram. Here we can see the table's element type is set as an artifact of type custom table. We have a set of elements in this diagram, with three having connectors to other elements, and we have our scriptlet here. As an alternative to running the script by opening the diagram, we just select from the diagram context menu the option to run the script. We see that it populates the table. In the scriptlet, it references a grid in the table element named report and populates this with a count of the connected elements using the set cell function. The threat package provides a good example of using scriptlets to perform a visual validation of a diagram. In this example we have three stereotype elements with tag value properties. The first has all properties set, the second has some missing values at the top, the third has no value set. This scriptlet runs over the property tags to check if they are not populated and then lists the results in the system output as well as setting the color of the object to highlight these in accordance with the diagram legend. In this case, we reload the diagram to run the scriptlet and see that we get the element color set to reflect the content of the tag properties. And in the system output, we have details describing each. Let's open the scriptlet. This is using the scriptlet's unique interface option, the diagram, to set the collection of objects on the diagram and then run through these by calling the script's isRiskItem function to generate the analysis in the system output and then set the color accordingly. Now let's have a look at a simple example of how you can define an element type that contains a scriptlet which runs from that element on loading the diagram. In this example the script is just working on the properties in the element but can be used to reference other factors. What we wanted to create was an element type that calculated, on the fly, the body mass index, or BMI. We have created a simple meta class and stereotype for a profile. In this, we have set the underscore scriptlet attribute, which in the properties contains the scriptlet. Doing a simple save as a profile, and then loading this in the resources, just to test it. We 
we can see that on creating the element of this type and adding some values, in this case height and weight, then on refreshing the diagram, the scriptlet is run and provides a calculated result. An MDG is the best way to create an element type from a profile, but for simplicity we will just show this post having created the MDG and installing it. Here we drag on the person element type, with which we can add the values height and weight. Then run it and get the BMI calculator. Hopefully this gives you a good starting point for getting familiar with the new scriptlet feature, which is available in version 16 release of Enterprise Architect. For more information on this, see sparksystems.com forward slash EA16.